Hello everyone, welcome to an episode of A Day in My Life in Quarantine. I am Erlin, a 15 year old currently living in Jakarta, Indonesia. Today I've got a few things planned out. I will be attending some classes in the morning and we'll probably do a quick exercise routine after. After that, I'm planning to eat out with my friends or my family and we'll see how this goes. So I just finished my workout and I'll go shower and get changed for lunch. So I just got changed into this really cute outfit. And I'm about to go out. Alright, so I'm done with my makeup. I have my mascara on. And everything else is set as well and I'm about to leave so before I end this video I wanted I just wanted to share some of my thoughts and feelings regarding this pandemic and also quarantine life so first off obviously it's very boring and tiring for everyone to just stay at home and go about their daily lives at home without social interaction I believe that that has been really tiring if not for everyone, it is definitely tiring for me. I really miss my friends, I miss my teachers, I miss going to physical school. Personally, I don't think HBL is a very great, like it's not very effective for me. I don't learn as well as I do in physical school. Um, I think I just need more interactive means, but there's no choice, right? So putting that aside, I think quarantine has been quite chill. I think um, it has given me a lot of time to self-reflect and it also gave me time to explore new hobbies such as baking and exercising, like working out. They turned out to be really fun when I tried them out. Um, quarantine, however, is definitely stressful for a lot of people. I mean, the fact that it's we're always at home and sometimes you're even neglected by our own family members. Um, it's just kind of getting lonely and that kind of stresses me out sometimes. But putting that aside, I kind of adopted a new habit to help me cope with that. So I started to write down my thoughts and feelings in this little notebook here. So I also jot down my goals for that day. I used to never do this, but I figured since my schedule is more hectic now, I should probably get a list of what I have to accomplish for that day. So I started to write down my goals. And I also jot down my thoughts and feelings, like what I'm grateful for and what stressed me out. And I also set a daily reminder sometimes or like a goal such as like what time I should sleep so that I don't sleep too late. So this has been a very helpful way for me to cope with the stress and with the hectic schedule. And it also helped me to vent because I personally do not open up to a lot of people. So I figured that this is actually a really good way to for me to vent. So that's it for my video today. I hope you all enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.